G'day, welcome to I Cultivate. My name's Steve, and today we're going to look at how to repot plants in a way that minimizes root disturbance and enables the repotted plant to grow well. When we look at potted plants, we consider way too much the foliage on top. We need to give much more consideration to the root system below, and that's where our pot selection comes in. We need to ensure that the plant will be able to develop a healthy and expansive root system. Therefore our pot selection is critical to ensure that this is enabled. Therefore you should be repotting your plant into a pot that is at least 50% bigger than the pot that it is coming from. However don't go too big because going too big can mean that the roots will end up either too wet, too cold or perhaps even too hot and that can be a shock to the plant. Don't make the diameter of the pot any more than about double the size of the original. This one here is as big as you would want to go for repotting a plant of this size. So firstly, leave the plant in its original pot for the time being and add potting mix to the new pot. Firm this down and use the plant while still in its pot in order to gauge the appropriate height. You want it to come up to about an inch below the top of the pot. That will enable it to hold water and it will also enable a layer of mulch to be added. Right, so that's at about the desired height. Still with the plant in its original pot, now add potting mix around it. Firm it down. So now that we have the potting mix at the desired level, remove the plant and you are left with a hole there that the plant will fit perfectly in. Take the plant out of its original pot and then replace it in the hole. Following this process will ensure that you minimise transplant shock to the plant and therefore give you a much better chance of a successful repotting. Now the last thing that we will do to provide this plant with the best chance of healthy growth is to give it a good water in and we'll follow that with putting a layer of mulch to help it retain the moisture in the pot. I can now look forward to two or three years of wonderful growth from this plant before I might need to consider repotting it again. Now to finish this up, some points to consider. Firstly, to ensure the continued healthy growth of this plant, you will need to add a liquid fertiliser for every two or three weeks. In addition to that, you might like to consider a slow release fertiliser every two or three months, or every season. And lastly, the quality of your potting mix is something that you need to consider. I have another video that will help you with potting mixes that you might like to have a look at. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. Can I ask you to please go to the thumbs up and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and go to our website iCultivate.net and become a member of the community. Thanks for watching.